don't know what the big deal is here. I mean, everybody's going to die anyway. Hey, look at the guy. He's like really old. <laughs> What's he got, like five years left? <laughs> bah. Oh, what the hell now? Am I in the presence of the spirit of Christmas yet to come? What? What? You're not going to speak to me? What the hell? <laughs> what you got? Laryngitis? <laughs> Desolate place. Bro, oh, it's freezing, man. Couldn't you even give me a coat to wear? Ah, that's better. Thanks. Spirit, are these the shadows of things that will be? Or the shadows of things that may be? Only spirit, you must have made a mistake. Made a wrong turn at Albuquerque? <laughs> These events can be changed, right? A bartender's life can be made, right? Listen to me, spirit. I'm not the bartender I once was. Why would you show me this if I was past all hope? I can change. I want a do-over. Grant me a do-over. Spirit, say something. Okay, I get it. I lose my Christmas spirit. I die lonely. Everybody's gonna die. But tell me, Spirit, what of bar talk and cocktails? What happens to the world when there's no bar talk and cocktails? All right, I will try and keep Christmas in my heart and honor it all year long. Since we're making a futuristic style cocktail, I thought I'd pick up this wonderful little coffee siphon. And it's so cool because uh, you make coffee with it. And, and how it works is there's a vacuum uh, you put your water in here, your coffee in here, and the vacuum comes up and then it drips that back down. But we're not gonna make coffee with it today. <laughs> we're gonna make Bruce's Jingle Joy. Okay, let's get started. First thing we want is some futuristic boodles. <laughs> no, no, it's not futuristic at all. They've been making this for a while. And I want four ounces. I should probably use a funnel. That looks pretty good. Thanks, Boodles. Next is uh, some Galliano. We want two ounces. Yeah, look at that. Beauty. I love that. Next thing. I thought we'd use uh, some uh, Luxardo Maraschino uh, liqueur, one ounce. That's a good ounce. <laughs> All right. So like I said, normally you'd put uh, water in here and brew your coffee, but we're putting alcohol in, okay? And we'll get our little uh, upper chamber here going on, beauty. And to this upper chamber, we are going to add three star anise. I've got some cardamom pods here. I've got eight of them actually, and I'm gonna just grind them up a hair, get those seeds out of there. 
And we're gonna add that to our mix. Sweet. Hibiscus flowers. I've got uh, two teaspoons. Sweet, look at that. Neat. Next is uh, saffron. I've got uh, two teaspoons. All right. Our next ingredient is some fresh ginger that I've uh, prepped here. I've just uh, skinned it and just cut into little slices here. <laughs> it wasn't very much ginger at all. It was like a little piece like that big, right? I've got some chaga here. Chaga is the king of the mushroom. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. Oh, it really is. It makes an awesome tea and it's gonna make an awesome infusion going on. Um, it is the king of the mushroom. Medicinal mushrooms, not the psychedelic kind that you're thinking of, <laughs> but it is magic, I'll tell you. I've got a full tablespoon. I've got some uh, fresh lemon rind, and you notice how wonderfully peeled this is without the, the white pith. In you go. Same thing with the orange. Wonderfully peeled, very little white pith. In you go. <laughs> and you know, the reason I like Boodle's Gin for this mix is because they don't add citrus to their gin. Boodle's Gin is named after the famous Private Gentlemen's Club of London and true to British form. This gin is distilled from British wheat and infused with a combination of traditional herbs and spices. The palate is silky smooth, making it an ideal companion for any kind of citrus you like to add. I got a little piece of cinnamon. I'm going to just uh, crack it up here. Oh yeah. And throw that in our mix. Mm -hmm. And as a final ingredient, I have huh, cranberries. You can't have Christmas without cranberries. I've got 12, like the 12 days of Christmas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 12, all right. Now, not everybody will have a coffee siphon at home. If you don't have a coffee siphon, you know, you could uh, just grab a, uh, a bodum, a, a coffee press with warm alcohol, Put your, uh, put all these uh, wonderful ingredients into it and just steep it. And there you go. And simpler yet, you could warm up your alcohol, put it in a teapot with your dry ingredients and just steep it and later on filter it out. Next thing we need is some fire. Nice, gentle heat. And we'll pop a lid on here too. And it's gonna take a little few minutes because I like doing a little slow at first. So what's going to happen here is um, we've created a vacuum. Once it heats up to a certain temperature, it's going to go up this little tube and it's going to stay up here infusing all this wonderful mix that we put up there. And then when I get rid of the fire, it's going to just drop back down. So it's just the waiting game now. In the meantime, we're going to warm up our glass here. Sweet. <laughs> this is going to warm the cockles of your heart. And you know, by heating it up, we're probably going to lose a bit of our alcohol. Come on. Okay, now that it's come up there quite a bit, we're just gonna get in here and mix it up, even though we broke our, our uh, seal. But we need to mix it in. Beauty. And you just wanna let that steep there for about a minute, two minutes. Get all the flavors infused. I think we're there. And it all comes dripping down. Oh yeah. All right, let's check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, that's warm. And uh, let's get rid of this hot water here. And I'm gonna strain it out because, well, 
Some of the particles get through that little filter there. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> Let's check this out. Oh, wow. It's uh, a little too hot to drink, but uh, you want to breathe really, really slowly. And this is uh, good advice, any, any warm liquor, because you'll hurt yourself if you don't breathe slowly. Wow. Wow. The spices come through really nice. There's just enough sweetness from the Galliano and the uh, maraschino that just mm, present it. I mean, I'm not even really tasting any gin anymore. I'm tasting uh, the cardamom. I'm tasting the chaga and the, and the citrus that we used. Now, you know, you wonder how much alcohol really was uh, burnt off there. I've got an answer for that. I made an identical batch last night and here it is <laughs> and what I've got here is an alcohol meter so let's find out what we lost okay we just want to give that a little spin get those air bubbles out so basically uh, you know the boodles is 45.2 percent 30 percent on the Galliano 32% on the uh, maraschino. That's a fair amount of alcohol going on. I ended up with 40 proof or 20% alcohol by volume. So we did burn some of it off. But now you know, now you know. It's still got, still got a good kick. <laughs> I just love Christmas. Feliz Navidad. 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 Prospero año y felicidad. We wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. We wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. We wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of our hearts. Yeah. Partial funding for Bar Talk and Cocktails is provided by Patreon. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to lots of extra stuff. Behind the scenes videos, podcasts, newsletters, some of my own personally created cocktails, and much, much more. Become one of my patrons today. <laughs> and help keep us going. Thanks in advance. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Don't be a Scrooge. Hit the subscribe button and check some other uh, Christmas videos out. And uh, make uh, Bruce's jingle joy. It makes you joyful. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs>